uh, as I said, I just wanted to mention this this problem today. If there are no questions further, um, so one uh, one we remember that there was this huge year two thousand uh, issue twenty years ago when everybody was afraid that uh, uh, airplanes start to fall from sky when they realized that it's uh, 1000, I mean, 1900 and not 2000 or something like this. So uh, some of the uh, applications that were fixed at that time were fixed in a way, so to avoid having to add another two digits to store the air uh, on whatever forms uh, that were available. Uh, some uh, people decided that uh, there, will, there will be this new format introduced when where you enter two digits, um, uh, then there will be no longer just the uh, two more significant digits from the current year added, right? So like it was, uh, you would enter two digits in 1999 and you would enter 99, it would become 1999. However, if you would add uh, zero, zero, want, uh, and you would like to, this to mean actually next year 2000, right? This would still mean 1900. Zero, zero. Uh, so 100 uh, uh, years earlier. So applications were changed so that uh, if the year uh, entered would be relatively low, so from 0 to 19, right, then uh, the two digits added would be actually from the next century. So, so in 1999, if you would enter 00, zero it would become... Uh, 2000 and not 1900. Uh, zero, zero. However, because this cutoff date was frequently selected to be 2020, there was a, a fear this year that some of these applications would stop working uh, correctly because, again, the uh, a cutoff date is uh, 2020. So the the problem would be similar to the to the problem that would that existed in uh, around 2000. So uh, in Oracle database we also have the RR uh, uh, date time format. However, the cutoff date for RR is 50. So uh, usually, uh, unless you have some dates uh, going. Uh, already now going over uh, 2050, which supposedly already be begins, be uh, starts to, to show up as a problem because we uh, uh, need to remember that there are some services, let's say, where the end year of the service is 30 years away. For, uh, for example, the mortgage uh, loans right? They are frequently for 30 years. So if we have 2020 and somebody uh, uh, takes such loan uh, this year, then they will stop paying uh, in 2050. So if now an application tries to enter a date, right, then what may happen is, let's say if we can demonstrate it, uh, let me share my SQL developer screen, All right? I hope you can see it. Okay, so now if we enter uh, 49 this year, right? And the format, input format is RR, so these two digits, then we see that the interpreted date is 2049, 1st of January as an example date. However, if we enter 50, then it will be 1950, right? And not 2050. So, uh, as we see, uh, 
using the format RR, which which is a kind of a quick and dirty solution to the uh, to the uh, to storing a date in two uh, digits. I mean, in two digit positions instead of four, or actually entering it, not storing. Uh, then there is still the even if you use the RR format, if you go sufficiently uh, into the future, you will still have a problem with the uh, dates that are incorrectly uh, interpreted. Of course, if uh, if we are like in in, in uh, year two thousand fifty, right? Then this this date would be interpreted as uh, twenty fifty. However, forty nine. Uh, uh, might be actually interpreted uh, incorrectly because it might be interpreted as uh, 2,149 instead of 2,049. So the advice is always use four digits. Don't try to save on these two places on the screen. Screens are much larger nowadays than they were some time ago and we don't care that much about storage uh, space anymore. Just use four digits. Don't try to save on this on entering to st these two digits because this may be uh, and this may uh, may cause a problem. However, we also uh, th there are some sometimes sometimes there are uh, things that will save us because even if you have the RR format, you can still enter full four years digits because Oracle date uh, parsing is uses flex you, by default it uses flexible mode right so if it cannot fit the date into the two digits it will try, next try the, the RR, RR format which is practically the same thing as uh, three uh, Y's right so if this is this or uh, four Y's the standard format uh, it still works the same way, right? So if we have flexible parsing enabled, which is the default situation, then we can always overwrite this uh, incorrect year by entering all four digits, unless the field on the screen has some limit and does not allow us to enter more than two digits, then it's a problem. So uh, again, it, uh, it may be an application problem. It is usually a, the, the application problem when the wrong format is used or uh, with the with this rr format we don't allow this uh, uh like um what's the english term um i don't remember the one the, the thing that you throw uh, out of a ship to to help people uh who drown so this is something that you can use uh by entering four digits uh, again, if you if you enter non-flexible mode, right, then uh, trying to parse uh, four digits years when when the mask says only two digits will uh, cause uh, uh, an error uh, saying that the literal does not match format string uh, and we cannot uh, parse the date. So as we see. Uh, the, the best thing is to actually use four digits. It's safer. Uh, if you want to use two digits to like save on entering these two digits, uh, you can use the RR format still. Uh, but uh, remember that around middle of the century, you will probably have to change this to uh, YY to make sure that it uh, uh, behaves correctly or make sure that the, that the flexible parsing is enabled so that uh, so that uh, the, peop the person entering the date can actually override whatever wrong value is uh, uh, interpreted by the database. And of course, we, uh, we should always remember that the actual storage in the database, date time, uh, data types, such as timestamp or uh, date, it's always four years. So whatever you enter in an, an application and gets interpreted, it's actually stored on this uh, uh, in four digits. Uh, unless, of course, somebody uh, has a very uh, poor idea of storing dates in the string uh, format, 
which we cannot prevent applications from doing. Uh, however, this is a, a, a very bad idea because uh, then you, you lose a lot of uh, built-in functionality. Uh, so the, there is a, a question actually, or maybe a suggestion that maybe we should have a parameter that um, controls this uh, cutoff date uh, for the RR year um, so that it's currently like 14,950 uh, that we could set it. Um, uh, I guess, uh, I mean, it's, it would be another way to uh, try to fix applications that, uh, that uh, try to, to use a two-digit year instead of four-digit year. I prefer actually to solve the solution, to solve the, uh, the problem by uh, fixing an application and allowing four-day, uh, four digits uh, entry, especially in applications that have to deal with dates and, uh, across centuries, uh, sometimes three centuries, maybe there are some like uh, applications used in libraries where you have uh, dates when uh, when a book was published, then of course uh, there is no no discussion. This the year can be uh, anything, uh, starting from Gutenberg, I guess, uh, or earlier actually. So uh, then you would use four four digits. Um, uh, so of course it may help with some of the applications. This is an idea uh, I would have to think if uh, if there are no traps with it, right? Because probably not because it's just a, a, a parsing uh, issue, the actual storage and date calculations, they all always happen on four digits here. So there, this parameter would not affect uh, such uh, uh, the actual date time arithmetics would not be affected only the um, only the uh, string to date time conversion functions would probably take this parameter into consideration however of course this is a this is not uh, quite trivial uh, to implement because there are internal structures that would have to get another field and and you would have to uh, define the compatibility behavior between older clients and newer clients and you, you need the synchronization protocol between the client and the server or between uh, different servers and if they, are, they have different versions then, then the question is what to do. So this is a lot of uh, uh, small issues to solve. So the question is uh, whether it's actually worth uh, uh, implementing such parameters. So each time we it's 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 easy to to define another parameter to 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 allow people tweaking things uh, a, a bit, uh, but uh, of course there is a cost uh, uh, to to implementing this. So we have to weigh uh, the both thing the both sides. Uh, I guess this will come up more often uh, when we uh, come closer to uh, 2050 and people start noticing that it, there may be a problem. So let's see if we can um, <coughs> convince uh, programmers to actually use four, four digit years and not... not um, yeah, yeah, so another comment from uh, from you did is that uh, in nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine there will be another problem, but uh, fortunately it won't be our problem. So uh, I guess there will be some solution until then, uh, assuming anybody will store any data in any database, uh, and actually that we still people will still be on Earth and not already uh, cooked by uh, our sun. Um, so, um, uh, okay, so this was the, uh, the short uh, explanation about how the 2020 problem looks uh, uh, in Oracle database. Uh, so, um, 
unless there are some questions, uh, uh, we can uh, finish for today.